Good morning. Wow. What a gorgeous day. Um, what a gorgeous sight for what will be the future of uh, the new Forest Park. And what a great city we live in. Uh, for us to be here doing this is exemplary of, of the city of Lake Forest. My name is Ralph Giswaldo. I'm a lifelong resident of the city of Lake Forest and the president of the Forest Park Project Corporation. Um, this morning we're here to celebrate the groundbreaking of Forest Park. Um, we'll have comments this morning from our illustrious mayor, Don Schoenheider, um, Jane O'Neill, and Joan Dupre, along with myself. What I'd like to do is, is kick off the meeting this morning by saying thank you for coming out and introduce our mayor to come up and just say a few words. Thank you. Thank you, Ralph, very much. Um, Ralph asked me to say a couple words, and you know, I pulled up this morning. I, there we go. I pulled up this morning and saw that, and I thought, you know, it's really hard to say much more. It's really a, a unique place. You know, when our uh, founders of Lake Forest founded our community over 150 years ago, they had a real vision, and they had a spirit of cooperation, of collaboration and really a spirit of focus. And I think that today is what we're really here to celebrate. We're here to celebrate an uh, incredible collaboration amongst the Forest Park Project Corporation, amongst dozens of residents, groups, the, the Park and Rec Board, everyone who's been involved in this project. You know, Forest Park is truly a unique place. Anyone who's ever lived in Lake Forest, anyone who's ever come here, truly finds that this becomes a special place in your heart. And I think all of us feel the same way. And so today, we're really, it's an exciting time to be here to really celebrate that partnership with everyone who's been so closely involved in making today a reality. I want to thank everyone for your spirit, your vision, your cooperation. And on behalf of the city, we are very pleased and very proud to be partners in this project and look forward to the beginning of something that will end up being truly extraordinary for our community. Thank you very much. I want to know who put me in the sun and you in the shade. It's warm up here. I've asked Jane O'Neill and Joan Dupre to share a project that many have been working on that reflects one example of an enduring legacy we wish to extend in Lake Forest. So I'm going to ask Jane and Joan to step up and say a few words. Uh, okay, we'd like to give you a report that Marion Cartwright sent us. She has been working very, very hard on a legacy tree project, and we'd like to share that with you this morning. Over the past two or three years, a group of very dedicated volunteers have been collecting acorns in the McCormick Ravine and from home homeowners who live on the ravines. They collected northern red oak and swamp white oak, plus acorns from the historic white oak at the municipal building. Somehow, Marion and her group could tell which acorns were which and which ones were pure. Um, and that was not easy. The group learned how to propagate the seeds, and now they are being cared for by Mary McClellan at the McHenry County Nursery. There are 43 trees that will be planted in the spring in proper spaces in the park as a result of their stewardship. Also, the vo volunteers have collected grasses and sedges from the woods and bluff that will be, and they'll be doing a lot more this fall if you'd like to come and help. We're very excited about the hands-on project to replenish the native tree and plant population. And Joan's going to tell you about what's going to happen in August. We have a younger group, energetic group of um, residents of Lake Forest. Uh, Bray, spearheaded by Brayton Alley and Katie Donovan. And they've put together a team who's going to put on a family fun fest in um, Forest Park on August 25th. You all have a flyer. So please um, come with your children, grandchildren. It's going to be a lot of fun. And it's a fundraiser for Forest Park. Um, we are so fortunate to have so many people help us with this project. It's wonderful work of uh, enthusiastic people and we feel that 25 years ago we were lucky enough to have the city and the community do the beach below and this is kind of the topping on 
a cake, so to speak, to do Forest Park. And we thank all of you for supporting us, and, um, and please come and enjoy the park. And next summer, we should have it all put together again. Thank you. I wasn't sure what was more beautiful, Jane and Joan, or that spectacular view. I mean, isn't that unbelievable, the view? And, and Jane and Joan. I, I, I do agree with that. Today we are celebrating the beginning of the Phase 1 construction, which includes infrastructure improvements that will rehabilitate the ring road, replace the non-functioning sewer system, upgrade the existing lighting system, and improve the south parking lot. It is important to note that the city committed 850000 to those improvements in accordance with their scheduled capital improvement plan. This infrastructure work will begin immediately after Labor Day and will continue through November of this year. During this time, the park table land as we see it today will remain closed along with the south parking lot for safety reasons during construction. However, the beach will be available throughout all of the activities and all of the construction in this project. Then in the spring, it gets even more exciting. We anticipate to start the next phase of our work, phase two, which will include the, the path work that surrounds the park, significant landscaping enhancements. It is a portion of the project that many of you today have generously supported at this time. Truly, this is a community project, and as such, it is important to acknowledge some of the key contributors to this project. Stephen Simpson and Associates was the chosen landscape ar architect. We thank Stephen for, and his talented team for helping develop the plan and implementing the plan at Forest Park to enrich our community. City Council, Parks and Rec Board, Historic Preservation Committee, your feedback and direction throughout this process, process has been invaluable. You've helped envision what will ensure the lasting legacy for this park and the city of Lake Forest, keeping in consideration rehabilitation, enhancement and preservation was always everyone's goal. Multiple legacy donors, including a lead Lake Forest Bank and Trust were our lead corporate sponsor. We especially wish to acknowledge Ellen Sterling. Is she here today? Ellen? Ellen, if you could stand up, we'd like to recognize you. Thank you and Lake Forest Bank for your help. Thank you very much. And, and I have to tell you, they were so excited about the project when Peter Cherry, who's an integral yeah, part of our finance, the finance committee and uh, he went in and did a presentation of the bank finally they stopped him and said you had us in hello so uh, we really do thank you for your generosity towards this, this project um, your generous gifts clearly demonstrate your commitment to the lake forest community and our shining example of the spirit of philanthropy from lake forest bank and all those donors that have given up to this point in time that makes lake forest such a special place community sponsors uh, canoe and tree services Nels Johnson Tree Expert, Clifford Miller Landscaping, Artistry, and Craig Berman Landscape Design. Through your generosity of equipment, arborist, expertise, and essential tree care um, has occurred down here, and the magnificent, magnificent, okay, views have been created. And, and it, as I sat there, I have to keep saying, that's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's something we haven't seen in Lake Forest for some time. And to be able to see one of our treasured assets, the lake, as you walk through this park, is, is magnificent. Um, groundbreaking contributors, Raging Kitchen, Sunset Foods, and Caputo's. We want to thank them for their generosity for the refreshments that we're going to enjoy shortly. As you can clearly see, any contribution, large or small, makes a difference. And we are so appreciative. Today I am proud to announce that of the $3.1 million that we're raising privately to do this park, we have approximately $1.6 million raised, over 50% of what we're looking to raise for this park, and that's tremendous, and I just want to thank everybody. That's just outstanding. <laughs> we're clearly building momentum to accomplish our master plan vision. What, what's truly amazing about this, when this speech was starting to be created, and, and you can see it wasn't really created that brilliantly or anything, but. As I started working on this speech, the number was $1.2 million. And that was a week ago. 
And I got a phone call, and somebody said, change it to $1.3 million. So I scratched it out, changed it to $1.3 million. Last night, or two days ago, I was told, it just went to $1.4 million. Change it to $1.4 million. So I scratched it out, changed it to $1.4 million. Called somebody that had computer experience. They typed it into the speech. And then I, I got a note last night from Joan, all excited that the number has now gone to $1.6 million because we had a very generous family in Lake Forest donate $200,000 just yesterday. Um, and that's exciting. $400,000 in a week's time. I thought of delaying this speech so that we could get it up to $1.8 <laughs> or $2 million pretty quickly. Um, at this time, I would like to have the mayor come up and members of the Forest Park Project Corporation join me up front for our ceremonial first shovel. Um, Tom, I'd recommend you wear a hat because hat hat's not going to affect you. All right, the idea is we're going to take a shovel of dirt, move it around a little bit, and he's going to do a slight video. Okay. Roger. All right, we're ready. Right. You want to dig those shovels in? Ready? You dig those shovels? All right, dig it out. With your foot. There we go. If we could throw the dirt over at Tom, that would be good. <laughs> so we can get a group prepper of all the people that are here. Coming out tonight, um, this groundbreaking ceremony is officially over, but it'll continue on through the whole groundbreaking process. And thanks for being part of this historic process. Thank you very much. 